happy Saturday morning. I'm kind of having a little bit of me time, which is really cool on Saturday mornings. Hallie and Micah like to watch Wild Kratts in the morning time in the bed. And I let them do that. And Mandy's kind of, I don't know, she's kind of just hanging around. Right now she's playing with toys. So I have my Bible out and a cup of tea, peppermint tea. Anyway, I've been reading in John where um, the multitude, a group of people, went to search for Jesus because he disappeared. And when they found him, they asked him, basically, where, where did you go and how'd you get here? And he said, you know what, you seek me not because you see miracles, but because you see, you eat of the loaves and you're filled. And I was thinking about that in my own life. Um, I felt like maybe the Lord just kind of gave that to me um, for me. So many times I've used God and his promises more to my advantage. I'm not saying that that's all wrong, but you know, it's not wrong. It wasn't wrong for them to eat the loaves and be filled. What Jesus was saying is you're putting that of greater importance than what I can do for you um, spiritually, what I can do for you character wise, um, in your relationships. Um, that's you're you're asking me for temporal things. You're you're seeking me for things that are going to go away. Um, when you die they're no longer there for you. They I mean you're not gonna need to eat if you're dead. He's saying there's there's something deeper there that that is eternal, that lives forever. Um, that you're not even you're not putting of greater importance. You're just seeking me so you can eat. And you know, we do that with God. I mean, even now we do that with God. You know, like, God, would you provide this for us? God, would you help us out of this situation? God, would, you know, all the time we, and I do that. I use him for, you know, please just help me. Help me with this. Help me with that. And I, you know, I think that, that Jesus was grieved with them in some ways. He said, you, you're, you're missing the point. I'm feeding you these loaves, but I want you to get the deeper meaning here. There's some eternal lessons. There's some spiritual lessons that that they were missing because they were just they were just following him so that he they they could eat. And I'm challenged by that this morning because I think that I've done that a lot more than what than what I had thought that I had. And I want to be more grateful in my prayer. Even when I'm praying to the Lord, I want to be more grateful and more um, more intent, maybe, on the things that are that are spiritual. Um, this ask God for different things that are more spiritual or more character building. Um, a couple of years ago, the Lord challenged me to pray for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And I think that's in Proverbs, and it says it a lot, you know, for the Lord, for you to ask for it, and the Lord gives it to you. And I thought, wow, if He just gives it to you, that is so awesome. So I started praying that way. Um, I had no idea what was going to happen in two years, you know, in that two year span from from that point on till now. And we've been through a lot of challenges, a lot of hurts, a lot of um, difficult areas, a lot of pain, and. I was asking the Lord that, like maybe in November, asking some why questions to him. Why has that happened to us? Um, why is this going on? And, you know, that kind of stuff. And he, you know how God speaks to you? And he just said, you asked for it. <laughs> you asked for knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And I said I would give it. I didn't, I didn't say how I was going to give it to you. I didn't say if I was going to wrap it up in pretty paper. Um, I, I, didn't, I didn't tell you what package I was going to deliver this to you, but I did promise you'd have it. So, um, it's been really encouraging to 
for the Lord to talk to us. And so I think that him telling us, telling me this morning, seek me for those things that I can change in your life. Seek me for the things that are, that are eternal, that last forever. You know, um, I, I, I think that that is what pleases the Father. He's going to give us some temporal blessings. He does. He, he's done that for us over and over and over again. And there are times that He um, even encourages us to pray for those temporal needs and those temporal blessings to, to be, you know, for the Lord to bless and provide for us. Um, so I'm not even saying that we shouldn't. However, He said, you're missing the point. So let's not miss the point. You know, the point of this is um, our goal is heaven. Our goal is to bring others with us, um, to encourage and edify one another while we're here on earth, and to learn everything we can about the enemy of our souls. And that's, that's what should be on the forefront. He said, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and then all these other things will be added to you. All the other temporal needs, um, where, you're going to, where you're going to live, um, how you're going to buy, have the money and the means to buy clothes, or get clothes to wear, um, food to eat. So those things will come if we seek the Lord for the most important things. Seek the Lord, the kingdom of God. His righteousness, hunger and thirst for it, and the rest of these things will will come. The loaves and and, and the fishes will come. With the, he he will feed us and he will fill us with those temporal blessings that we need. You say hi. 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 Say happy Saturday morning. Happy Saturday no more. <laughs>